Hey everybody and welcome to another quick video from the Network Sherpa. In today's video we're going to have a very quick look at some essential tools for dealing with fibre in the data centre. So let's get started. The very first one I want to show you is a Cletops style, that's C-L-E-T-O-P-S, a Cletops style cleaner. And basically what this is, is a spool of fibre cleaning tape in a cassette uh, with a little button so you can dispense uh, a clean or a fresh uh, set of tape every time. So let's just have a brief demo. So you can see the directions here for the type A, give your fibre a twist and then wipe. So here's an LC style connector. We're going to give it a little twist and a wipe. That's it clean. Okay, the next one I want to show you is an IBC brand uh, or pen style cleaner. And this does two things. It does what we just did and uses, basically this is slightly more awkward, uh, but it, fit, it basically has a connector here, a housing that fits over the end of the ferrule. Um, I can just show you here. It fits over the end. You depress until you hear a click, let go, and basically it has wiped and cleaned the end of the ferrule. Um, but it also has a second roll, so we just watch here. So if you wanted to clean your patch panel or your patch panel receptacle, you can see here, you have a little LC bulkhead connector. So basically we take this end without the cap on it, insert, click, release, and basically you've cleaned any dirt from the inside of the patch panel. Same goes obviously for the connector on a uh, transceiver. You would insert the same and clean the transceiver itself if you suspected that it had dirt in it. So that is a pen style or IBC style cleaner and a Cletops cassette style cleaner. Both of those are essential for your data center. If you don't have those or if your data techs do not have them, uh, you're going to find trouble. You're going to pick up a lot of CRC errors. You're going to see loss on your fiber and really there's no need. Uh, you can remove a lot of dirt and uh, re remove a lot of attenuation and errors as a result. So make sure you have these guys. They're a little bit expensive, 50, I think 50 odd dollars each. Um, but when it comes to the cost of loss, I think it's a, it's a good idea. Every time you touch your fiber, you should be cleaning. Okay, the second thing I want to show you here quickly is a visual fault locator or a fiber tracer. This is um, an essential piece of kit. This allows you to trace fiber and it's a very difficult thing to do. Firstly, you do not want to be tracing fiber with your eyes by looking into the fiber um, when you have it lit by a transceiver. That's just, it's just a bad idea. And even if you were to do that, um, it's just very hard to find uh, the light. So you can see what this is. It's, it's a, this cost me about $100 on Amazon. It's the cheapest one I could find. And I'm kind of glad I didn't spend any more money on it because what it is, it's a laser with a LC sized housing on the end of it. Uh, so this is an LC specific fiber tracer. Let's have a quick look. So you can see we just put on one end of the fiber. You can see we're touching the fiber here. So once we're finished, we really should clean it. And you have a choice of a straight light or a blinking light. And the way you look at the far end of the fiber is by shining it against the surface. Like this is about a 650 nanometer laser, but you still don't want to shine it in your eye. Okay, great. So we've proven one fiber of our duplex path. Let's check the other, the other side or the other leg, I should say. Okay, so this is the other fiber in the fiber pair. And let's check. No, nothing. So we've got a break here. And the break was actually introduced by me earlier. So you can see that the fiber is escaping this, this um, the, the sheathing or the cladding quite close to the end of the connector. Now, this fiber was already broken. It was already bad, but it wasn't this badly broken. Um, I had to really press hard on this to get this to appear. So this, this 
visual fault locator you can't rely on it for everything but will show you really bad faults but to be honest the main benefit of this is helping you to trace cables which are not live the last thing i wanted to show you was um, I showed you earlier, it's a little bulkhead connector. This is an LC-LC coupler. Now these guys are designed for being inserted into a, um, a bulkhead on mass, but you need to have a couple of these in your tool bag. They are really, really good. I don't have it with me at the moment, but I also have a, an LC loop back plug. Basically, it takes one, takes the receive here, and loops it back into the transmit. And what that does is allows you to take a long stretch of fiber, insert the uh, coupler on the end, insert the loop back plug here, and then go to the remote end, insert the fiber tester on one side and see the light coming out another. So it allows you to test a full duplex path uh, when you only have one set of hands. So that's it for today, guys. I won't bore you with any more details. Uh, hopefully that was of use to you. If you don't have these essential tools or your data techs do not have these essential tools in your data center, please invest in them. They will save you time and money. And that's what we're all about here at the Network Sherpa.